Alright guys, I'm going to start off by cutting out the sides of our shoe rack from this 2x4. They're about a foot and 10 inches long. The size really doesn't matter, honestly. It's just like big enough for a shoe rack, basically. At the table saw, I'm going to rip each piece down the middle and basically turn this 2x4 into a piece of stock that is twice as wide and half as thick. And that'll be just perfect for the sides of our she rack. But before I glue it, I need to run it through the planer and clean everything up. Nothing real fancy or technical here. I'm just going to wipe some Gorilla Glue on one of the pieces of stock. I'll clamp them together and let it sit for about an hour. And keep in mind, I'm repeating this process twice because we need two sides for our shoe rack. I'm only showing you guys one because the process would get repetitive and you just don't need to see that. It wastes your time and mine. Now I have both sides stacked on top of one another and I'm going to make one cut down the top and one cut down the bottom. That way they're the same size. And of course, everyone knows that flat bottoms are no fun, so I'm going to cut some curves in the bottom of our shoe rack. On a, on a more serious note, giving our rack four legs instead of two will make it a little bit more stable, and hopefully it won't wobble quite as much. And if what I said was confusing, this is what I'm talking about. Next, I'm going to cut some dado joints out of the sides of the sides of our shoe rack. I had to edit out a lot of this because I really just wasn't being very safe. So I'm not going to tell you how to make dado joints. Uh, there's a bunch of other YouTube videos out there if you're really curious. In the end, uh, no one got hurt on my end, so that's always a plus. And you can see, if you don't know what a dado joint is, it's basically a square or a rectangle cut out of a piece of wood. Next, we need to make the pegs or the arms that connect our two sides together. These are also going to be out of the uh, two by four. Now my dado joints were three quarter inch squares and I'm going to cut my pegs out to be about seven eighth inch squares. That way I can plane them down and make sure that they fit tightly into my dado joints. And here I'm planing those pegs down into the rough size that they need to be. And now it's time to put everything together. I pretty much just slid the pegs on top of our dado holes and beat it in there with a hammer. But I did put a piece of scrap wood in between the hammer and the peg. That way I wouldn't dent up the workpiece and make it look like trash. One thing I did figure out after my second peg is that I needed to sand down the corners or the edges of the pegs before I beat it in place. It just slid in there so much easier and there wasn't a whole lot of splintering whenever I sanded it. Uh, I think I was kind of in a rush because I wanted to get this project done. And I really wasn't super motivated to make it look beautiful because it, it holds shoes. Like, that's its purpose, not looking pretty. Now, I think just about anyone who, who's fairly coordinated with their hands and has a basic understanding of woodworking could do a project like this. I, I don't think you need tools like a table saw, but they sure speed things up and make things a little bit easier. Um, but if you feel like for some reason you can't or you don't have the tools or the ability to make a project like this and you have questions on, on how to do it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to talk with you. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.